Hello and welcome to Sea Open at Las Vegas. It's one of those intermediates. Stuff I like, so hopefully this race will be uh, pretty good. Uh, we actually have a pretty decent strength of field, I think. I'm the number 13. Push, push, push. And, uh... Seems like we got some really fast guys in here. So, I'm just gonna be uh, patient. <laughs> got my OSR setup. Nothing too crazy. Got 99% tape on it right now for qualifying. Oh, excuse me. First lap's a throwaway because you're not up to speed yet. I'm gonna chat muted right now. Let's see if they're talking. Does not seem like it. Green flag, I just got green flag. back okay. from the touring car race. It was the Neben time slot, but unfortunately he was in second split, so uh, we didn't get to race with him, but we did get to race with Gavin and Joe, a couple of viewers, so that was pretty cool. And uh, hopping right into Las Vegas here in the truck. Should be a pretty good race, I hope. As long as guys are reasonably patient. Don't try to do everything at once. Blah, blah, blah. You know how it is. So now this is the lap that counts. I'm going to try to get real low here. Get below these bumps. There's some major bumps. Mid to late corner. That I'm trying to avoid. The leader has just done a 30.3. Okay, Colton. Your water temperature is creeping up. The leader has just done a 30.3. Eh, that's about as good as I could hope, I guess. Where did I get? Eight. I guess I could have hoped better. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there's some faster setups out there. Seems like it might be a track where setup matters a little bit more, unfortunately, because, well, I'm flat-footed. Flat-footed right now. And there's not much more you can do than that. I mean, I held it as steady as I could. Let me know. Blow my engine here. Yeah, I gave it my best, and we're falling back hard, so I don't know, maybe uh, holding the bottom... Oh my gosh, we're the slowest by a lot. Why? What did I do? I did something wrong, I guess. I feel like I didn't really have much input at all, to be honest with you. But uh, well, at least we'll get a uh, another practice in with pit stops. We're not going to be completely up to speed, but... Give me a decent feel for it. Kind of looking at that black advertisement on the outside, and uh, I'll be going a little bit faster and having a little bit older tires when I go and do that in the race. But, seems like it's pretty simple. Seems like I should be able to do it. Hopefully we have to use it. Why did I qualify last? Okay, not last, but almost last. Maybe still last. What did I do wrong? I'm trying to think. I guess maybe... Hmm. That's a full... I mean, we're not that far. We're like three-tenths. I'm trying to think, like... Where did we go wrong there? <laughs> I don't know. Alright, let me get the uh, brick set up back in. Change that back. Get the tape at 60. Don't need to touch the brake bias. Got 16 to 1 just to help, uh, help maybe light on the wheel. Not sure how this one's going to turn out. Hmm. Yeah, we're basically slowest. And I didn't lift. Maybe you do want to arc, arc it in turn one instead of holding the bottom like that. Oh, excuse me. I'm not sure. And, well, I'm not even sure if this person was even All trying right, to qualify better or if uh, the the they just wanted to beat the last of people that put the times in. I don't know. Well, I guess we're about to go. 
guys aren't patient, I might just back off and see if I can tire save or something. So I do not want to be caught in the 20 truck pile up if I can avoid it. We don't have that data. Check got crew chief in case we need it. I hope we get some uh, strategy this race. That'd be cool. Where's the fuel already? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm yawning so much. I'm not really that tired. I got some decent sleep. My day off, so I actually got to sleep in. That's why I was able to do the touring car challenge today. So we're rolling off P21. That's pretty low. It's been a while since I started that low, just because uh, even when I normally try not to qualify, like I purposely don't put a lap in, I'm usually a higher car number. So I end up higher than that anyway. But we got a Pretty decent sized field here today. Is it 28 it looks like? Yeah. I believe it's 28 people. But uh, even the higher truck numbers are probably going to be pretty good I rating. A lot of people signed up and this is a pretty popular series so... Gonna have to be ready. We'll get session last lap up. Not sure how useful that information is going to be though. There's going to be draft and all that. Oh my gosh, why am I still yawning? Three. We're not at a super speedway, why am I yawning? I mean, it kind of feels like a super speedway, but a little bit of input you have to give it. Might get a little bit loose. Maybe on cold tires if we're going a little bit faster in the draft. Maybe the air will do some weird things. I'm going to have to watch out for that. I might also have to lift a little bit if we get into dirty air, which with all these trucks in front of us, we probably will have to contend with. So it'd be nice if this guy would go. Thank you. <laughs> Just sitting there. Not that we're in a hurry, but we do have to start rolling at some point. That is a uh, interesting pink green and blue truck over there with no sponsors looks like taffy like you could put like just slap some uh, laffy taffy sponsors on there and it makes sense he was going down there to zoom murder a cone I guess maybe couldn't see it not that I haven't seen that a hundred times before already We'll go second gear. We don't need to have a great launch all the way back here. Well, at least uh, starting back here, most of the people behind us are people that did not qualify, so presumably they're going to be patient. You would hope. But we'll see about that. Okay, guys, you're already going to do your job. Go. Green flag, green flag. Going. Horrible accordion at the start there. What that was about. Back out, Bush. I hit the gas on green. I'm not checking up. Patient just in case guys get loose. This guy wants to go behind us as he gets loose. So I guess not qualifying doesn't mean you're going to be patient. Let them go. Alright, let them go too. You want all these spots? Why didn't you qualify? No question. They're being scary. Be nice to stay in the draft, though. Still there, this guy's fighting me, I guess. It 
thought we were just driving past him. This guy was just waiting they're, they're trying to wreck up there. I don't even know how you managed to get this truck loose or anything. Unless they're running into each other. Not in a hurry to go get into that accident, though. Like these guys are. I guess if I can save the tires, I will. Draft this guy. Push him back up into the fray. B27. Hey, maybe these uh maybe the tires will be feeling good later. This does go green. It'll be in good shape, who knows? I don't know if they're going to go green, though. They look like they're trying to wreck right this moment. Still, like, three wide. I don't know where they're, why they're in such a hurry, to be honest, but... Yeah, you're a front power, Kirk. Like, the yellow flag is out. Line up, All right. I don't think I touched you on my end. Ace car is out. Line up single file behind car number 26. What position was that for you? Car by yeah, car. Surprise. Uh, very strong talk without watching a replay, but I will watch it. 15.3. I have to since I'm jumped. Since we're already in the back, I will come and get fuel. Don't worry about it, boys. We did a better stop for it. They wrecked on my one. Of course. Now open. We'll just go back uh, into the pits, we'll fill up the truck with fuel, have a little bit of an advantage there, and we'll just be right back in the back anyway. We won't use the set of tires too early for that. Not that I used these anyway. Looks like we will not be the only ones. Watch your speed. Pit lane speed limit is 50 miles per hour. Hey, dude, did you watch the replay? We think we'll need to stop again. Box in a five, a four, three. If two, you came down on the one. floor below you, you're the one Box who can't down. drive, apparently. Oh my gosh, they're arguing already. No one ever gives it a rest. Move it, move it. There was a whole truck between us. We could have gone five there. And I don't know why you're calling me a coward for taking a four. That's a big ball move. I'm not getting stuck behind someone slow. Yeah. It sounds pretty unnecessary on lap seven. Yeah, it sounds like a small brain. Like 80 lap race, but... I don't know. Food for thought. We went on lap one. Happy Taffy's now making me laugh. Hey, if Gap car, I saw Gap, I take it. You know, it's not my fault. You guys can't handle being side by side. See a third code. Yeah, I agree with that one, brother. I'm just saying, like, how'd that work out for you? I was having fun, so it worked out fine. I mean, I got everybody angry, and I'm sitting here like, hey, I did nothing wrong. No one's angry, buddy. I'm just questioning the, the thought process here. Point seven gallons. Thought process was this is a plate race, so I'm treating it like one. Oh, you're right here. I love that news. Yeah, it's a plate race up until lap 10 when your tires are fucked. What's the right rear? Well, too, I wish we could have got there, but hopefully next time you can work on your awareness skills and we'll get the lap time. Gosh, these people are so snobby all the time. Yeah, 10-4, bud. 10-4. I hate top split races. These strength of field races. Everyone's so awful to each other all the time. It's so toxic. 
much prefer whenever it's like a late night race and you just got people like being patient. <laughs> I mean, it's not always better, but generally people are nicer. Everyone here just thinks they're like the coolest person on the planet. So we'll, uh, we'll roll off here, see uh, how it's looking now. Had a couple of guys wreck themselves. I got caught up in someone's plate racing. Let's see what happens. Come on in. Yep. Come on by, since they're in such a hurry. Yeah, it's early, no problem. Yep. Hurry too, I guess. Clear. Like they're all flat footing it, I just don't I don't see the reason to do that right now. Shown that they're uh, plenty ready to wreck, so just gonna stay back here a little bit. Be nice to the tires, and if things even out, stop going three wide with guys going onto the apron. Yeah, and, lucky. And uh, maybe we'll try going forward. Believe it or not, there's a lot of race left. This guy wants to go, I guess. Keep high. Still there, inside. Yeah, it's clear. Ahead is now, 0.1. Just keeping an eye out there. There's still three wide. Making crazy moves and such. So I'm just going to relax. Got me doubting that it's going to go green the whole way. Regardless. Now all I got to do is finish 13th apparently to reach uh, my expected spot. So it's nice to not have that level of pressure I normally have when it Puts me as the two car or something. That would be nice, but on the other hand, not being caught in as much of the dirty air would also be nice. It'll also help the tires feel better. So I'm not fighting against the push. Getting up on the right front. They're definitely going to crash though. Not only are they three wide, but they're like inches apart three wide. I'm just looking up there. Not seeing very uh, long term plans. We'll say though, setup doesn't really feel all that fast. I'm not concerned about that. I know it's a high strength of field and everything, but really they're just like pulling me. That was at I think they would be even if I wasn't just being easy on the tires. The captain Peters in front is now 1.3. Consistency, keep it up. I 
keep my foot in it, I gain like a full tenth, maybe two tenths. I could be faster. Still don't think I want to go boy. Yellow flag is out. Amazing. And they've wrecked. Absolutely incredible that you guys cannot handle free life for more than three seconds. It's closed. Ah, uh, welcome to my world, Corey. Oh God, he's still here. Nice check up, 21. Thank you. It's crazy how people just bombing it on the outside and then, oh no, my tires. I know, Paul. That was uh, close there. I almost did it in time. We'll take tires this time. We're far enough in the race, maybe. Yeah, but you That's probably a good idea. Some more damage trucks that hopefully we can finish ahead of. It'd be great if we actually caught up, but I guess that's too much for people. Watch your speed limit in the pits. We'll need to stop again to get to the end. Box in five, four, three, two, one. Box now. Only 98, 97. Sorry, anyone behind me? I got super high there. I almost kind of wish I didn't, uh, <laughs> didn't even take them. But I'm not concerned about our tire limit here. All clear. Punch it. So hopefully that took out a lot of guys. They want you sure looks like a big wreck. Eight point one gallons is still too much to save for the end of this race. So we still need to pit again. Are open. I do like the fact that uh, my right rear is more worn than the right front, though. Obviously, I was going way soft there. But... It's encouraging. Maybe this is a long run truck. So, what position are we in? Looks like we are in 19th. Again, we're just going to let guys go. If they want to go, still plenty of time in this race, believe it or not. So, they can go get into that wreck if they want. Because uh, I want to be there at the end. And they can have their fun taking it four wide. Got a number of trucks behind us that might be uh, aggressive, trying to get back up there after they got damaged and had to fix it there or something. 7.9 gallons. 7.9 gallons. Still too much to save, even if we filled up again right now. I'm not going to worry about that. One to go. Next time by, you'll be lining up on the inside. We'll be following this 20 truck. To the restart. Seven point six gallons. We're just checking in on that fuel. Seeing what it says. Twenty cars on the wrong side of the track. Arrows are confusing.
inside lane 20. He doesn't see it. He doesn't hear it. He's got his voice chat off or something. Hey, Jim, you're supposed to be on the inside. 20 car. There he goes. Sorry, my bad. I didn't even realize you're in here, Hello. Is my mic not working? <laughs> Maybe I didn't say it loud enough? I don't know. The pipe car is in. We're going. Green, green, green. Let's go. Outside. Go low. Still there, hold your line. Clear outside. Alright. Kind of feeling out where we are, where the guys behind us are. Guy wants to go, so let him go. Still inside. Like two by two, though. Still there at the bottom. Still there inside. Kind of in a tough spot here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You disappeared for like half a lap right there. Still there, inside. Still there, hold your line. I just want to go now, so. Clear. Alright, we'll put ourselves back down here. Good by me. 20 second place. Go back to being nice to the tires. Seem a little bit more uh, single file than before. Hey, Liam, is Kyle blinking for years on this mini? Is what? Yeah, I got bumps in a bad spot there. Nah, he's blinking. Still yeah, going bit. through wide again. I didn't mean to get in your rear rear mark. Didn't expect it to turn like that. You guys getting into right rears, that sounds like a good way to cause a wreck. The gap in front is increasing. It's now 1.1 seconds. Early things going on. Oh boy. Hey Kyle, man, he's starting to blink real bad, dude. I don't see someone blinking up there. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> I don't see them. <laughs> Car in front is Johnston. So content where I am right now. Not even halfway. Still over 10 laps away from halfway. I still see guys that are basically running into each other up there, so. Just gotta be patient. Gotta be patient some more. The structure feels slow, though. Not sure if OSR hit the mark with this one. I know I'm underdriving it, but like I'm barely lifting off just to make sure that I'm not putting all the weight on the right front.
Lemkin behind is pitting now, P22. Right behind us is pitting. A bubble yes. of the apron, don't worry. Right, fixing damage, you're probably gonna blow their engine or something. That's the thing, man. I mean, we keep this thing clean. Come on in here if you want. We'll get guaranteed the spots. I don't know I cut that. That is why I just said I'll fall below the apron. Wasn't talking to you. We're free wide up here. So we're still doing three wide stuff. Still not looking too safe up there. Too concerned. That's how things are going. Just gonna pull in front of us, I guess. We wanted to get out of our way for the uh, corner, so. That's cool, I appreciate that. I mean, this thing's driving like we have damage. I wonder if I need more tape or something. You know, I, I'm gonna put more tape on it because I haven't even got the crew chief warning that I normally get. Which is way too sensitive anyway. So we're gonna put this up to uh, we'll do 64. <clears throat> Just get us a little bit more straight line speed. This isn't uh, this isn't cutting it. Here, this thing, this setup's got a little bit more problems. Just that, but. Let's uh, let's keep our foot in it. That's a stupid pen or two. What? You come up to try to block me, then you almost block the guy on the bottom at the same time. Stupid. You got blocking? This is a Minecraft. I'm telling you, Devin, you're not going to want to know what happens. You can't be blocking when it's not Minecraft. I'm a straightaway smart ass and never even blocked you. I'm moved up. <laughs> Everyone's so mean to each other. This is uh, this is kind of boring. I think I'll have more fun when I do the Xfinity race here. Probably have to lift and stuff for that one. Still not even halfway though. Laffy Taffy. Get some uh, draft up in for a moment. Come on. Got the apron as a lap car. Okay, thanks. Not that I wanted to be there or anything. <laughs> it's not a big deal, but like. Let's kill two minute option. Okay, in front of us. 
saying that. Well, halfway halfway in the the Oops, I'm in charge. We're halfway home. The lap time was the 12.4. 7.8 gallons. Guess we'll just uh for pitting if we do end up doing green flag pitting. We're just gonna go a little bit longer than uh whenever the leaders pit because our tires are gonna be a little bit better. I'm just standing in line here eleven. That lap time was thirty one point three. Those are starting to come in. Pitching up to the six. Not sure they probably have damage or something, or maybe they're purposely hanging back as well. Sure. About to wreck though. We're still getting in the wall and all kinds of crazy nonsense. I don't think we're going to see green flag pit stops, fortunately. This cap is nice though. Talk about a road block. You've just done a race for nothing. Well, now I have nothing more to learn. Bye-bye! Is that a lap car? Truck? Whatever. I think he was the number two. He was in that or crash earlier. 21st. Oh, maybe not. Maybe he just left. So he just gained a spot. <laughs> Suddenly these guys have worn tires or something though. We're coming. Okay, Colton, the next car is Patterson. Car outside. Still there, hold your line. Clear outside. Alright. Got pitters. Maybe someone will bin it trying to get into the pits. So waiting for that, uh, the leader is pitting. Your chief, before I start thinking about when I'm gonna pit. I'm pitting right here, Kendra. Kyle, man, I don't know where you are, dude. Tell your sister to get off America Online. Speaking of uh, AOL, Nick made a really good uh, scheme for, I think, it, what was it for? I think it was the next gen, maybe? I might grab that one. Pretty good. Classic, like, AOL scheme, the blue and yellow. Oh, great. We got a real life car outside. Uh, it, it looks sounded like their car alarm was gone off. It sounds like they got it under control, though. Okay, so now that was. That's the two. I must have been someone else up front. Outside. Alright, Colton. Outside. Clear. Keep it up. That left, and that's why we gained the spot. They must have hit the wall and had it killed, and they weren't Pitting interested in competing Pitting unless they had a chance. Hmm. Yeah, I'm by. I got loose ahead. Seventeenth place. Mm 
You said you're pitting, Justin? 19, 19 short pit, 19 short. Seven point four gallons. And you got a pitter. Yeah, sorry, dude. That was in the leader call. Mark, you care if I stay at the top wall when he gets me? Yeah, that's fine, bro. Well, you're we gonna get that extra tape on here. It's not gonna make a huge difference, but man, I just feel slow. What well, about did we restart on the limit right around what 20? Uh, like 32. Still haven't heard a 17 car pitting in this lap. Haven't heard a leader's pitting call. It wasn't lap 32, it was like 22. Right? That's what I thought. I mean, I still feel good. I feel like my laps are getting faster. In fact, I'm pretty sure they are. Let's keep, keep going. Getting in right here. Fresh tire truck. I can see a caution happening just because guys on fresh tires are doing this. Maybe I'll just stay out. Wait for the caution. Sit there. Keep it up, keep it up, keep decent. Keep high. Clear inside. That truck feels good though. The car behind is catching. The camera's now. This is a long, uh, long run car for sure. Truck, whatever. Oh my god, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Still there. Still there. You're in the middle. Three wide. Still there, still there. Outside, too wide. You're in fourth position. Keep right. Say hi here, Justin. Go low. Go low. Mm. Mark, I'm fitting, by the way. Get out of the way. Sorry, five. I didn't mean coming. You're good. Very low. There's a car on the high side. You're in second position right now. Still there. I'm gonna pit in here. I'm pitting. Pitting in here. Outside, clear.
Sorry, Jim. Watch your yeah. speed. Okay, we'll fill you to the end. Alright. I apologize, I was adjusting my relative. Four. Gallons. Four. Three. Two. One. Box now. Alright, clean. Good. Don't wreck. We're done. Get going. The lead is pitting now. I think that was a good time to pit. I uh, feel like we saved our tires well and we're gaining still at the end of that run, so felt like it was good to stay out longer. So we'll have fresher tires than most. point. Is the car rejoining? Outside. It's got the momentum on us. There is a car on the high side. The lead is hitting now. Clear high. Let's just go to the end now. Another good thing about uh, pitting when I did is now we don't really have to worry about saving tires. 20 laps isn't quite long enough for it to be too much of a concern for me. I think that was good for us. Car inside. P17. Still there inside. Still there inside. Still there. Clear. Outside, I guess. And now knowing for sure this is a long run truck, I'll feel good even if I am flat footing it. That I can uh, do well. So now we're actually kind of trying. <laughs> Wish we had some draft in front of us, but that's fine. Try to keep it low down here. Under the bumps. 16th is looking pretty good. I don't think we're going to have anyone coming up behind us because we were one of the last to pit. So we're only going to move forward unless this 6 catches our draft and, I don't know, it's better than us in long run. He was pretty long run focused earlier as well, so he'll probably be fine. You're on the lead the lap, correct? Yes. You want to watch your water temperature. It's looking a little high. Alright, so we got that extra tape on here. So we got the warning from the crew chief, which is too sensitive. It's all good. The lap time was at 34 tanks. Unfortunately, y'all want to fight for 13th or get in line and catch everybody? I hope this guy gets in line with me and doesn't fight me. Kyle, you're blinking like so bad, dude. You're literally in thought of Benjamin for. Yeah, I'm wondering what the hell's going on, man. Spot on the apron as a lap truck. Sorry, Don't bring out a caution for that. Uh, I think you gave me some damage going on, bud. Okay, he left. Thankfully, they didn't bring out a caution. Good 
Trying to get him to draft a little bit of this guy ahead, catching up to him. About a tiny bit. Oh, I just hope we don't get a late race caution and then breakfast. Be nice. We can avoid that. Let's fight me for this position, it doesn't matter. Better go though. Wasting time. Catching up to a guy that does not have draft help. The way he's driving his truck is really bad on the right front. Really just cut down in front of me? Now ah, get out of here. Stay low. Keep low. Head to go. This time last. Outside. Clear. Follow this guy in his draft. Truck's still feeling okay. That's the slap truck. Feeling too bad. I mean, I'm not in a great position, like finish-wise, but okay, I'm feeling pretty slow. So to be able to pull it anywhere near the 13th, I'm supposed to finish. It's not too bad at all. Fantastic. And now we're going to get wrecked on the green white checker. Well, 2020, we were 80 Yeah. Our little saving grace right now. I pit late. Where does it seem too bad on the left sides? We're going to take two tires. Now I totally had my map wrong on the last pit stop. I fucked that up. Boy, are we going to regret it. <laughs> I hope not. But should be okay. Be better than the guys that are, I guarantee you are going to take no tires. It's not like this thing's loose or anything, so if anything, the extra maneuverability will be nice. That's what they call it, right? Maneuverability. The leader is pitting. Watch your speed limit in the pits. It's fine, you got loads. Another line tricked me. Box in. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, box now. Five, five to go. All clear, punch it.
Drive smart. There are no more right side tires to put on. Line up, single file. Right sides are 98.99. That should be fine. Gotta watch out for the heat. But, uh. I wanted to go for it. I'm not happy with where I was, so. I like a loose race truck anyway. We'll see how it goes. Should have put more tape on it, too. It's our open. Where are we going to be starting? Obviously gained a lot of spots. How many cars stayed out? Ah, uh, fifth place. I think one. Just poor Zach up there. Zach did not take any tires. It's a yikes from me. Two tires, though. Not gonna lie, I thought about it. I think we're in a good position. I think we're going to be fine with our 98 99s on the left side. Just going to have to watch for the loose. Hey, Zach, I'm rooting for you. You got this. Hey, thanks, man. There's no way. We get three green white checkers. Last night. Full course yellow. Pits are open. How long did you go on that run, Zach? He doesn't want to tell because it was a long time. Probably had at least 20 lap of tires. Good thing he's starting in our row. Yeah, he's on lap 58. 58 or 68? 58. Did anybody take two? Um, yeah. We're actually gambling here. We only took left side, no right side. So uh, we'll see how this goes. I'm on right sides. Our gear, I let him know in case I am slow. I didn't think he'd benefit from doing that anymore. Yeah, we accidentally hit the space bar two times when we were pitting, so it took my right side two times in one pit stop. So that was wonderful. Do it. That's funny. <laughs> Oh, hopefully this doesn't blow up in my face. Maybe I can get a decent jump for once, too. So that'll be hard if the leader can't get a jump either. Ice car is off. Be ready. Green flag, green flag. Get back in pit. Two left to go. Two to go. Outside. Inside. Clear two, outside two, two, if you want it. Classic is now in. And me. You know what? Everybody used to do it. Don't want to be stuck behind that leader, that's why I'm on the outside. Alright, now it's You're up top, three wide. Inside, two wide. You're up top, three wide. Oh my god. Woo, red sides! 
Hold your line. Doing a good job. Keep it nice and smooth. Okay, that's the finish. Car well outside, done, mate. too wide. You're back in fourth position. All right. That worked. Nice one, dude. Good job. Great job. You did really well. Great race, guys. Heck yeah, right side tires. <laughs> that was awesome. Good race, y'all. Man, we almost got more than that, too. That finish was crazy. I think we were three wide. Dang, and we got the worst spot out of that. We were three one thousandths of a second from getting second. Man, that was the two-tire call of the century. I'm saying it. <laughs> That works very well. I want to say a shout out to Nick, because <laughs> him taking two uh, two tires in his uh, I think it was Xfinity race earlier today inspired me to uh, make this gamble. And we got ourselves a top five out of it in a very strong field. That's awesome. We had all the momentum too. They pushed that. Uh, our finish line just a little further back I would have had it coming in there basically even wow imagine if this was for the win dang I say it even looked like I was ahead of him but not my call computers probably got it right I imagine <laughs> rather than my human eye but uh, let's see the incidents all right that went so much better than I thought 98 98 199 that uh, honestly it felt better than it did all day having the uh, right sides only because it uh, was just a little bit looser loose is fast Sorry, I'm a little off center here. That and the incidents. Two turns in on the floor and then overcorrects very badly. What's that? Yeah, that's on the two. They were yelling at the Laffy Taffy guy and he was kind of annoying but oh I see maybe what happened here is two sees the eight going four wide and he overreacts it's not that he was turning in there but interesting what do we have here this doesn't look like anything seeing anything pretty wide on lap 18 did they crash sure did man that big wreck started at the front those are some fast guys that we probably finished ahead of because of that yeah like that guy finished last so it looks like netcode played a part but the 25 was too far off the bottom though well I mean yeah too far off the bottom and then they get together. I think they were going to hit anyway. Prediction code or not. But the 9 getting sideways and ending the 3. That's unfortunate for the 3 because that was not even close. And what's going on here in the aftermath? I can't believe we got fourth, man. And with how slow this truck felt, <laughs> I had to take that gamble, and man, it worked. I don't. I think it only works though if we have our other strategy at the start, though, too, where we're taking it easier and then pitting later, because those left sides weren't quite as old. Caution came out at the right time for us to be able to make that work. 
Seven in the wall, hard, wow. They must have been looking on the inside or something, and this is going to get messy. These guys are going to be coming uh, full full steam ahead, and uh, <laughs> you know no one's going to want to lift, so. Looks like they sorted it out, though. Look how bunched up they were. This is what I was saying from back there, and I'm like, I just, I don't want to be part of that. That was straight up prediction code. Bad prediction code, this race. Those guys weren't even close. Ten's a little far down the track, but there's no reason that should have happened. That, that's no good for the ten. Getting on a wall, and they probably have broken trucks. Oh, this is for the lead. Oh, this is the Kyle guy that was having a horrible connection. Wow, you know it's bad whenever it's doing all that. 22 just doesn't turn in for the corner, but 5 can't even see him. So who, even, who even knows what's going on here? Started on pole too. This is this guy spinning on the apron. I've been there, so I can't judge. I did this in the truck like uh, Atlanta a while back. That was really embarrassing. I don't think anyone saw it. In fact, probably nobody knew about it until I just said it right now. Uh. Thinking the 23 thought he was going to the gate right now. Look at the net code though. Why is the net code so bad? That's pretty bad. There's been a couple of crashes caused by that, but this is the crash that made everything possible. So where where was I before this? I went from 16th position. We were following Ryan there. Ryan finishes 10th. I don't know what his strategy was. But he finishes 10th. So we go from 16th to 4th with the green-white checkered and the two-tire strategy. I'd say that was a pretty good call. That's a hard hit. And I do believe... Alright, we got some contact on pit road, maybe? There's me pitting. We got like the six, I guess, not knowing where their stall is. And then uh, blocking to the checkered flag, so they're kind of running into each other. That's kind of just how it works. Thankfully, I didn't get into the five any more than what we did. I went really far down low to try to get every little bit of edge. Even that. Nah, we were going to hit him anyway. I was going to say that was net code too, but nah, we were going to hit him. Thankfully, he didn't do anything. Alright, so we got ourselves a top five. I want to watch that from the restart. And uh, that'll end off this video. So watch from the restart. Wasn't my best restart. That wasn't that bad, though. We're all kind of like a lane higher. This 9 gave us a nice push. Probably helping out with my awful setup. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. I could, it could be my fault. But I uh, imagine a lot of the guys around us aren't using free setups. If I had to guess. I'd be wrong, though. And then I, I chose to run a lane higher. One, so I could get around the, uh, the guy that took new tires if I could. If I needed to. If they were really slow. And two, in case uh, my truck was very, very loose because of the two-tire call. That's why I'm taking this higher line. And then here it pays off because uh, the nine gets stuck behind the guy that took no tires. He almost spends the guy. So that kills off any run on the bottom side there. 16 is blocking. Barbie car, whatever that is. I don't know what that is. And then uh, 12 leaves the door open down here and then gets stuck behind the five a little bit. I, th I thought that would be enough to let us get there, but uh, just barely not enough. But heck yeah, 4th place is the 13.
a good day at the races right there. Top five when I did not deserve it. <laughs> Played a little bit of strategy. Took a little bit of a risk. Risking it in Vegas. And uh, it worked out. So thanks for watching. That, that was pretty fun. That worked out very well for us. And I uh, hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, take the gamble at Vegas. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.